we just want to know what is pregnancy discrimination? Pregnancy discrimination is really simple. If you are treated different because you are pregnant or if you may fall pregnant, that's pregnancy discrimination. You have the right to be treated the exact same as you had been prior to announcing you were pregnant. But I get it that when you are pregnant and you're at work and say you would normally be carrying like really heavy boxes, I would appreciate it if someone said, do you want me to take this for you now? So I guess, is that intentional or unintentional discrimination? Essentially, um, if your role within the employment is being reduced because you're pregnant, that's discrimination. But if people are unintentionally discriminating and there's no malice behind it and they're just trying to help you and you're happy with that, then that's fine. What do you do if you feel like my boss is trying to get rid of me because I'm pregnant? If you feel like you're being set up um, and that your position is going to be in jeopardy or you're going to be terminated because of your pregnancy, which might be masked in other ways, they might um, set up a performance review and while you've always had fantastic performance reviews, mm -hmm. as soon as you have um, announced that you're pregnant, it turns around and despite your work remaining at the exact same standard, you're in a position where you're getting poor reviews. Essentially, the best thing you can do is take notes. So you need to take, make a diary, um, dates, times, places and the witnesses that were there when the act occurred or the conversation happened. Um, that's to protect you. Um, but essentially, if, if you feel like you are being set up, um, have a chat with your boss. If you have that type of relationship with your boss and you feel comfortable, just raise it with them. Um, if you really feel like it's direct and intentional discrimination, um, it's time to bring in a lawyer. If you are a state employee, you will be able to take action and that action will be heard in the Equal Opportunities Commission. Um, if you are employed privately or in, by federal um, government, your matter will go through the Human Rights Commission. All of that work is affidavit based, so you will need to provide a statement listing the times, dates and places these conversation and acts occurred that you say amount to discrimination. So keeping that diary is really, really important. If you're going through this at your work and you don't, you want to continue to work there, you don't want to, you know, go threaten your boss and I'm going to take you to court and things like that. How do you kind of avoid that? Do you see a lawyer or? Certainly, if you believe it's unintentional, um, just have a chat with your boss. If you've got that relationship, feel free to have an informal chat, book five minutes of their time and have a discussion and say, you know, I, I'm feeling like I'm being pushed out of this role when I'm actually still really capable and able to do it. Um, if you're not comfortable to raise it um, via talking to them, think about putting it into writing. Reduce it to writing and put it into a letter um, and that way you have a copy of it and you're making sure that what you want to say about the situation is recorded um, and, and there for him to consider. Some, I guess, workplaces, you know, smaller businesses, it might only be one or two people, they don't have HR teams. So it's, I guess the first thing to do is come and see you guys for some advice. That's right. And we can give free advice about how to manage the situation. Again, it's all about gauging the person's um, relationship with their employer. You need to address them and you need to tackle them head on. If you come into a lawyer, we can help you either reduce it to writing if you're comfortable to deliver a letter to your boss, or alternatively, if the action um, is discrimination and it's direct and your job is in jeopardy, then we can take action for you. Thank you so much, Naomi, for joining us today. Thanks for having me, ladies. I think the key here is don't call your mum in tears crying. Call these guys. Find their website, find them on Facebook, give them a call. Thank you so much again. Thanks for having me.